is Elisa and this is my project A Heart Remembered. This project is about drawing somebody who has passed away and giving it to one of their loved ones. And while I'm drawing, you will hear the their loved ones talk about them, just kind of like talking about their favorite memories or who they are. If you want to support what I'm doing, subscribe down below. I would truly appreciate your support. Today I will be drawing the genie from Aladdin. I already drew Robin William. This was my first time using black charcoal paper, so I was kind of practicing a little bit on the side. And first I drew an eye, and then I just kept on going and going, and that's why the placement is a little bit off. I just kind of went with it. Click that like button and, and click that subscribe button. I hope you enjoy. <laughs> I grew up on his movies in the 90s, like Hook, Mrs. Doubtfire, Aladdin, Jumanji, Flubber. Jumanji, I have to admit, was my favorite. He, he was one of my favorite actors because he is funny and was such a great actor and he always stayed in character. I have watched behind the scenes footage of him doing his recordings and I just love how he doesn't hold back and puts his all into it. All the accents and characters that he's come up with. So I recently watched his documentary and you can find that on YouTube. It's called Robin's Wish, his documentary slash biography. Many people that have worked with him describe him as a genius, that he was so fun to work with, always improvised, and most of the time they used that footage within the film. And who wouldn't love to work with somebody who just comes up on the spot with funny things? On August 11th of 2014, he committed suicide. The media construed the truth behind his death. And there was a lot of talk about he was depressed, there was financial issues. But when the coroner's report came out, Robin was suffering from Lewy body dementia. Lewy body dementia is basically within the brain that interfere with the way that you operate, process information, and motor skills. And according to the doctor, it will change anybody's personality dramatically. And there are many symptoms to this disease that is misdiagnosed and unfortunately there's no cure. I do love in the documentary, his wife wanted to tell the truth about what was behind his death. And she now goes around raising awareness about the disease and how mental illness is very serious. I respect her for not leaving or giving up on him, but instead she encouraged him to trying all the different ways that could help him. Don't be afraid to reach out and talk about it because you never know who might be able to help you. 